Cage review! Well, hi there. I'm here with the Zen Habitat 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot aluminium and bamboo reptile habitat. For those of you who aren't British, this is the 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot aluminum and bamboo reptile enclosure. And I'm excited to crack into this thing, give it a build, and let you know what I think of it. So I'm, I'm grateful to the people at Zen Habitats who sent this to us. Uh, this is a, a brand new product for them. They kind of have looked at a lot of the caging options that are out there and they wanted to make something that was better. And so we will have a, links to where you can get this very enclosure down in the description. Uh, also, they've got some videos that will show you how to build it in case watching me isn't good enough. But we're going to go ahead, we're going we're gonna to crack into this thing. I'll give you my initial review kind of of the, the packaging of it and just how the materials look. We'll build it and then we'll just take a look at it. I, I have been told to just give you my honest opinion, which I would give, otherwise I wouldn't do this review at all if they expected me to give a positive review no matter what. So, let's see what I think. We're not receiving any sort of payment from Zen Habitats except for the fact that they did send us this righteous enclosure. We will not be biased in any way in our review. If I like it, I'll, I'll let you know, and if I don't like it, I'll, I'll let you know that too. I, I have a feeling, just looking at the, the materials being used, that it's going to be a very good enclosure for animals that don't need a lot of humidity, but given that it's made out of bamboo, which probably will look really nice, you probably wouldn't want it to get super humid. And I did talk to them about this when they contacted me about this. I said, if I were you, I would use PVC, and they said, that's the next thing they're going to do. So they, they do have that in mind. So if you're, if you have, if you like this enclosure, except you think it would be better made out of PVC, so you get a higher humidity, sounds like that's coming from them too. So let's take a look. I have with me my handy dandy skeletal, which we have mentioned in our other tank building video. And I'll have links to that down in the description too. Why not? Cause it's been the greatest thing ever. That's my honest review of this. They didn't even send it to me for free, but I'm just telling you, it's made my life so great. All right, chop away. <laughs> chop, chop. So, looks like we've got a plug. I think there's a place for you to put cables through. And that is really actually a great design because Sometimes there'll be a small hole for you to put plugs and, and cords in if you're going to have lighting, things like that on the inside, but you can't get the big plug part through, but this, you'll be able to push it through, but then it'll close up around it. Uh, this might be a place where a small snake could get out. Um, I mean, any snake that could fit its head through there might be able to push its way through this. Probably not super easy, but that's something to be aware of. But you're probably not getting a four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure for like a smaller corn snake or something like that. This probably won't be an issue. Oh, this with the two, that's going to be your sliding front door. So I'll set these aside. You can tell which one's top and which one's bottom because the bottoms are always not quite as deep as the top. And that's so when you're installing your glass or your plexiglass, you can push it up higher and get it over the bottom track. If you put these in upside down, then your glass will always fall out. So that's something to keep in mind. I think, oh, okay. Ah, great. I wasn't sure what the top was going to be like, but it's screened. And screen's not particularly good for humidity, but as we mentioned before, uh, this isn't a tank to keep humid anyway, but this does mean that you can probably have your lights on the outside. And so that seems like a great feature. So I like that. This here is just a huge piece of plexi. So hopefully we can figure out how to use that here soon. These are gonna be our front panels. These like to be about two foot by two foot panels. 
These are plexiglass and they're right now they're covered in a little bit of a protective film but they'll be transparent. Uh, the downside that I see to plexiglass is just that it tends to scratch more easily than glass does. But plexi like this is a lot more expensive. It's a lot stronger as far as it won't shatter and it's a lot lighter than glass. And so if you want to replace it with glass, you can do that fairly cheap. But if it came with glass and you wanted to replace it with plexi, you'd actually be paying quite a bit. So yeah, I'm really happy with the fact that it comes with plexiglass. And then these are the bamboo side panels. So these are the bamboo side panels and uh, these actually seem really nice. I, was, I didn't think they'd be this thick. These are great. I really like that and they seem actually like they would, pro they're, they're kind of laminated a little bit so they'd probably handle humidity better than I was fearing originally. Let's do a building montage. All right, bottom's done. Let's get to work on the sides. Uh, check this out. If anyone wants to know how I made the background and substrate for Nougat's bioactive tank, check out Clint's Reptiles video on it. It was exactly easy to follow and I'm pleased with the results. Wow, what is this? Instagram. That's righteous. Mm -hmm.
So, that build was a little bit tougher than I was expecting. I would say give yourself maybe 30 to 45 minutes to build it, which is a lot easier than building most things. And you don't need, you don't need any tools. A, a rubber mallet would be ideal. Oh, you do need a, a screwdriver for putting on these handles. Um, overall, it's great. It's a really lightweight enclosure, which is fantastic. If it had a lot of substrate in it, I wouldn't feel comfortable stacking them. But with the screen lid, you probably wouldn't be stacking them anyway because you're going to have your lamps on the outside, which was something I wasn't sure about with this enclosure. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to get a lamp on the outside or if you'd have to hang them on the inside, and I don't love doing that. So I'm happy with this screen lid very much. It doesn't have any plastic up there that you could melt. I, I like that a lot. Uh, these doors, they're very thick plexiglass, which I like. They, Like I said, they might get scratched. And ours does have a substrate shield, so we could put some, which is just an extra piece of plexiglass that we can put on the inside so that we can have some deep substrate in here, which is important because we haven't actually decided what we want to put in this enclosure yet. We want your suggestions as to which of our animals that we have already or, or what kind of an animal we should prepare this tank for, this enclosure for. We're going to do a, a build in the future of that that enclosure. So let us know what you would like to, uh, to see us put in here and we will build an appropriate enclosure for that. But overall I think the quality is really good. I do have one thing that I thought I wouldn't like and that I don't like. And that is the bamboo. Uh, this isn't real bamboo. We, we very much discovered that it's, it's laminate over like a, a particle type wood. And that's okay as long as as long as what you have in here is dry, uh, like a bearded dragon. Um, I mean, this could be an epic enclosure for leopard geckos, something like that. This this laminate is going to be okay, but if if there's any real moisture at all, this is going to rot away within a couple of years. I mean, it's going to start to warp fairly quickly, and then it's going to start to rot, and it'll. It'll fall apart eventually. This will fall apart. Uh, like I said, they're already working on a PVC version of that, and that won't have any of those problems. And, and you know, what you can do is use it as is for now. You just need one, two, three, four PVC panels, and they're fairly thin panels. So if eventually you needed to replace those, you know, really all the, the frame is what's so difficult to build about this. You just have to have those panels cut down to the size of these existing boards. So maybe measure those before you even put them in there. So you have the exact measurements should you decide to replace them with PVC later or maybe hold out for the PVC version of this enclosure. It might be possible to seal this wood somehow. I mean, it's gonna be somewhat sealed by the laminate, but I don't I don't really like this material. This is, this is it's real pretty and I do like that. Uh, maybe you could paint it that might be one of the best ways to preserve it for longer, but if there were one change I'd make to this enclosure, it is the one that I suggested them before they even sent it to me, which is replace the wood with PVC, and like I said, that's in the works. So for dry, for dry enclosures, I think this is just fantastic. For anything with humidity, you're going to need to replace this, this laminate with something else. But overall, I'm really impressed with this enclosure. For the price, it's it's hard to find anything pre-made this big. This is a really big enclosure. I mean, it, it's not big enough for a tegu or something like that, but four feet by two feet by two feet is big enough for most small to medium-sized reptiles. And the screen top is not ideal for humidity, but again, you don't want humidity in this tank. What you are probably going to have are going to be hot basking lights, and you can put a big hot basking light and UV lights up on that screen without melting anything and that's just terrific. Overall I'm very impressed with this. I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys want us to put in here and we'll build a pretty cool tank here in the future. Oh I should talk about one little mistake we made which is these side panels here. All of them, the short panels, and I guess there are one, two, three, there are eight of them. Two of them have a flat side and those are the ones with the screen 
door or that the those are the ones that the glass doors slide into so they hit nice and flush and we accidentally put the wrong panels here the first time so we had to partially disassemble it and redo that that was a bummer and that actually is one other thing that I, I noticed that I would probably change about this if I could is that I would have some sort of a lip coming off of this aluminum panel behind the door it's not going to be a problem for a bearded dragon or something, but if you had a monitor in here, a monitor lizard is going to figure out how to open this door. And, and there's a real easy solution to that, you know, even without that lip, which is just to put a lock, one of those little, like, cabinet locks right here, and that'll keep them from being able to open the doors. But a lot of, a lot of smarter reptiles are going to be able to wrap their claws around this and push the door open if you don't have... A lock on it so that's definitely something to get in addition but overall pretty impressed by this there really just aren't a lot of other options especially that'll be as affordable to ship as this because if you buy something that's pre-made but doesn't break down in the way that this does it's gonna cost you a fortune just to have it shipped to your house because look at how big this is but this came in a pretty small box and yet look at this enormous enclosure you've got if you don't have access to power tools where you can build your own enclosures this is a really great option. I'm very impressed by it. So again, that's the Zen Habitats, four foot by two foot by two foot, aluminum and bamboo enclosure. I like it. I don't love it, but I think when the PVC version of it comes out, I will love that. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon. Cage review. I do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I like this box, it's got styrofoam to protect it, which is handy because it looks like somebody shot my box with BBs. Can you sit down? <clears throat> and to the side? There you go. Scared <laughs> <laughs> the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Alright. Yeah, because he said that when he was a little loved, he no. beat the crap out of you it. Need, you need to be... Where? Not there. <laughs> here, Why not here? Let's, let's, because you can't see. You, you're cut you off to here. Your chin. It's definitely, this is a dry animal, a big dry animal enclosure. A Naki. This would be great for an Aki. This size? In fact. Just tell me to build this for an Aki. I, I want an Aki anyway, so let, let's, let's make a righteous Aki enclosure out of this. What do you guys say?